What's up, Locker Nuts? All right, today I've got something really special and a little bit different to share with you. So we bought an iPhone 11, and it's a really exciting experience for me because I've been a pretty much a lifelong Apple fan, and but I'm not always the earliest adopter of their products. So um, this iPhone 11 just came out. I got it on the first day it was out. So I'm just going to share with you guys our whole experience of uh, going to the mall to pick it up. Uh, unboxing it and then putting in a field test earlier today in an actual storage unit it's pretty cool pretty cool i don't think you're going to be disappointed because i sure am not i am very impressed and very excited about making future videos for you guys with this new phone all right let's get started here we go Real quick, you guys, before we get started, if you would, shoot me a thumbs up. Show me that you like uh, what we do here on the Locker Nest channel. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, hit the notification button because you're going to want to know when our future videos are out and ready for you to watch. Okay, so why are we here today? Getting the new phone. You excited? I'm very excited. What's the new phone you're getting? iPhone 11. Why are you excited about it? I have a seven, so if I had a ten, I probably wouldn't be as excited about it. But going from a seven to eleven is going to be a world of difference. Yeah, it's going to be great for YouTube. Bring better film quality for your subscribers and viewers. Well, we're going to see, aren't we? Because I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison, hopefully later today. It's like a consumer review, huh? Even better. Even better, a Locker Next review. That's right. So we're here at the mall near our house. You know, on the, the Locker Nest channel, you get it straight. So tell me, how did, how hard was it to get this new phone? Because it's like the first day it's out. It's just it's hard to pay for it because it's super expensive. It's hard to swallow that bullet. Especially but, for you, right? Yes, I'm a cheapo. El Say it cheapo. again. What are you? Cheap, cheap. <laughs> I've been noticing in the videos lately that th there's a lot of times where the the shots get washed out. Mm -hmm. You notice that? Because the lighting. Yeah, the lighting's terrible. Mm -hmm and uh sometimes it's too dark sometimes it's just really bright and when we're there it's, the lighting's not really an issue but the camera's not picking it up so i'm really hoping that this is going to step up my game but also the uh, resolution and all the color depth and everything i think is going to be a big improvement we're at stonerage mall in pleasanton this is a pretty swanky mall it's very upscale it's got nice. some good stores yeah for this area it's nice there's a big apple store here it is, isn't it? Yeah, and it's been here a long time. It's one of the earlier stores. Well, they stores. moved it to a bigger location. I know where I'm going to hit. I'm going to hit Starbucks. All right. Why don't you jump ahead? Oh, is that your line, babe? All right. Yes, it is. Wowza. Okay, we thought this might be a quick in and out. <laughs> it is not going to be a quick in and out. Appointment or whatever, do we get in the line? Yeah, sure. What's your time? Uh, 2 to 2.30. Two Perfect. <laughs> I like that. What she did, she said perfect and walked you to the back of the line, right? Yeah. Looks so like we're going the front of the line. So here's the line for everybody that has prepaid for their phone. Ahead of time and have an appointment time. So you have like 30 minute increments, and apparently, all these people in this line are in the same 30 minute increments as us. Okay, the line is so long that they are providing snacks for everybody, they have a snack for you. Snacks. Fruit juice. Does uh, does uh, Samsung do that? Does Google do that? No, I don't think they do that. Apple does though. Pretty busy. Pretty busy. I've actually never come to an uh, event like this where we got the phones or any devices on the first day. This is my first, and uh, it's pretty exciting. Jack wave. See, locker nets is waving. 
that's the crazy line. We've been waiting for over an hour. And we'll film it when we get in. Friday Hour and ten. Bobby, nice to meet you. Bobby, nice to meet you. Meet you. Meet you. We'll be helping you today. Thank you for your patience. Oh yeah, no problem. All right. What are you here for? The new eleven. I know Back from the mall, we're about to do an unboxing. Usually we unbox out of the storage locker. Today we're unboxing our Apple iPhone, and I'm pretty excited about that. All right, so first of all, I decided to buy the folio case, and uh, it's quite expensive, but it looks like it's pretty cool. Okay, so here it is, iPhone 11. And typical for an Apple product, you see seeing attention to detail right from the beginning. I even brought a razor blade. Doesn't look like we're going to need that. The film peels right off easily. So cool. You got the nice satin finish on the printing here, which I certainly appreciate. Coming from the print advertising background. So there's the three cameras that is so iconic. See it in all the ads. There it is. There it is. All right. <laughs> nice. Love that sound. All right. Here we've got a nice charger. Uh oh. That's new. See that? Dang, that's not a USB port. That's something different. So they're going to go and get tricky with us. So that's still a lightning port there. Looks like they put a lightning port here. It's like it's some kind of double-ended lightning port. Is that what we got now? Hmm. All right, well, there's the first thing that's unexpected is this little doohickey right here, where usually we have the normal USB um, port. All right, let's see. So what do we do? Push a button. Wow. There it is. Mm. So I wish I could put the other phone in my hand next to it. But I'm filming with my old 7. But off the bat, people said that the, the new... 11 Pro Max, this is the biggest one that they make. They say that I've heard this called chunky. They've called it chunky before and that people, some people don't want a chunky phone. All right. But personally, I don't mind a chunky phone. This screen is humongous. Look at this. It runs all the way to the top, all the way at the bottom. For me, coming off a of 7, that's, uh, that's new. 
All right, so right now we are setting up the face ID. It's asked me to go around. Looks like I already went most of the way. And there it's taking my face. Pretty cool. All right, continuing to set this up, it looks like it's restoring from my iCloud. So I have a feeling we're gonna have to let that sit for a little while. So in the meantime, let's get this into the folio case. See how hard that's gonna be. Pretty easy. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's slick. See that volume? Boy, this case is nice. And I did read about how the buttons have this really nice finished feel to it. I see that now. This is the folio case. Pockets here. This pocket right here apparently is for the uh, credit cards right here since this is a magnetic case. Uh, when you close it, supposedly when you close it, puts it to sleep, you open it. You know, I was excited to get the phone, but uh, sitting here with this in my hand right now and seeing it being close to boot up, I'm actually starting to get excited, like like really excited, like the gravity of um, the fact that I have Apple's latest and greatest in my hand. I'm usually not the first guy to get it. I usually wait for the price to come down or I just wait for things to cool off a little bit. Uh, but this is the first time that I've been one of the early adopters. It's pretty exciting. It is. I dig it. Um, this is definitely a very powerful piece of technology right in my hands here and I can't wait to give it a test run in a unit. All right, you guys, if you can hear that buzzing, I do apologize for that. So we're here at the storage facility where I own a locker right here. I bought it at the auction about a week or so ago and still have stuff to clear out. I've actually rented that one for one month, but I'm taking you in here before the video comes out because we want to test out this new iPhone. Let's see how it works under true locker conditions. All right, field test. All right, you guys ready? Let's check it out. Okay, so, whoa, I don't even have the light on, and it is doing a very good job of picking up the dark areas in this locker right here. So yeah, this is a little bit of a spoiler, because you guys will see this unit soon. It's been a pretty good unit. Not great, but just pretty good. A lot of old stuff, uh, but if I'm looking at the video right now, it looks fantastic. Fantastic. So let's do a side by side with my old iPhone 7. All right, there you go. Side by side, true, true test here. We have the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 11 both filming almost the exact same thing. And uh, yeah, look at the difference. Look at the difference. So the new iPhone 11 has low light sensitivity improvements. And I'm, so far, I'm impressed. I mean, I'm looking at the screen. It's not that bright in real life. Like, this is, this is uh, picking up the dark areas much better than my human eyes are doing and much better than the iPhone 7 is doing. So, pretty good. You know what? Let's do a little bit better. Let's close the door behind us and see what happens. All right. So yeah, well, that does definitely test the limits, but it is really dark in here. So we're still having a little bit of, of uh, visibility with the iPhone 11, but not too much. That's super dark. So there we go. Pretty interesting. All right, guys, so the next test is going to be on that new wide angle lens because that's pretty legit. That's big news. So the iPhone 7 has two cameras on the back. The iPhone 11 has three. That's actually the, 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 probably the biggest point that they have because it shows well in print advertising. They can show the three cameras. This definitely distinguishes it from the older cameras. So let's take a look at how that compares side by side as well. Here we've got both cameras working at about the same distance. And this is on the normal camera mode one time. Let's switch it to wide angle. Boom. Wowza. Yeah, so check that out. We can get so much more. Oops, actually it's picking up the iPhone 7 I have right next to it. There we go. Look at that. You can pick up so much more of the, of the locker. It's definitely looking more like a GoPro at this point. 
But look at that. Look at the look at the range here in the viewfinder. Whew. Look at that. Side to side. We can pick up so much more. So this is really, really gonna be critical when we're in a tight space. And we can't back that tripod up enough. This way we're gonna be able to get a lot more into the shot. I'm loving it already, guys. I'm loving it. All right, so check that out. Side by side on the tripod. You can see, I can see, this is, so this is a selfie camera. So the new phone, the 11, which is over here. I'm not sure you can tell which one. That's a 4K camera on the selfie mode. So that's high def on the selfie. The other one is not, I don't know what that is, 720, I'm not sure, 1180, 1080. It's not 4K, I know that much. So big difference, but it's not just the resolution. It's also the color depth. If you can see the color depth, look at the colors in the face in my shirt. And also look at the low light picking up in the back. Huge differences. Huge differences. That's pretty incredible. As I'm looking at just the screen here, big differences. So pretty impressive, huh? All right, you guys. I am sitting in my father-in-law's office because it's nice and quiet over here. And this last test is going to be for audio. So I didn't see anything written about iPhone 11 being improved in audio. So I'm going to assume that either the 8 or the 10 had some significant audio improvements because I definitely hear it when I'm recording. So right now we're on the 11, okay? Now we're switching to the 7. I've got the phone side by side and uh, only inches apart from each other with both mics on. So uh, we're on the 7, let's switch back to the 11. All right, I don't know if you can hear the difference. I'm assuming we're gonna be able to hear the difference very easy because I could hear it on the replay. Switch back to the number 7. And, uh, you know, when I've been looking at the film and listening to it, I'm like, wow, I don't have to adjust volumes as much as I used to because the 11 is so much louder and so much clearer. All right, switch back to the 11. Uh, so that's our audio test. We'll see how that turns out, but I think it turns out pretty good based on what I've already heard out of these two phones. All right, you guys, so you saw it. Uh, this thing is incredible. The technology in it is just mind-blowing. Uh, the, the, the differences at least between my old iPhone 7 are remarkable. That storage unit was perfect to test it out because it was a really dark unit, but I do apologize for that humming. There's an electric box up above. It's a real nuisance, I'll tell you what, it drives me crazy when I'm working there. I spent a couple days there already. I leave with a headache, so I apologize for the humming, but the visual test that we were able to pull off in that unit is exactly what I was hoping for, and the phone performed exactly what I was hoping for. Um, it was impressive. So I've got a lot of stuff coming out, you guys. So you might see some stuff that was still shot on the iPhone 7, but you're gonna start seeing me work in the iPhone 11 footage. I'm sure you could tell the difference because the iPhone 11 is gonna be tight. But uh, thanks you guys for watching this. More locker action to come tomorrow. We've got a really exciting unit coming out. And uh, yeah, you're gonna like it. It's a good one. I like it. Uh, it was a fun one. All right, so thanks for watching. Until next time, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nets.